hey welcome once again to this video uh, on the which is on the series of creating uh, consuming momo api using php so if you didn't see the other video please please see the other video so that you can understand what's happening so in the other video we created the uh, we created an access token so an access token it's what we need in order to consume any api that is in momo so because we have an access token so the other uh, the consuming the other api apis will be it will uh, there will be no problem in that because we'll just need to understand the documentation now we have the api the access token so we can carry the request now the first api that i'm going to consume in this video i'm going to consume request payment so request payment is uh, request payment so whenever you enter the customer's number you can get an something like an sdk push which is in mpesa so that a person can complete uh, can complete payment can complete payment uh, can just enter his mtn momo uh, momo payment service pin so that he can complete the transaction so requesting payment so this is what we are going to consume in this video so requesting payment you need to have this request url which is this and this is the request url then the headers that you have then the request body the request body should have this now let's do this uh, request body uh, accepted yeah now this is what we are going to do in, uh, I've already read the documentation and created what it you need to do with PHP so that you can consume. So this is the customer number, uh, and then this is the URL. Then I have uh, accessed this variable, the access token, the reference ID, and the con secondary key via the access token, where which we created here. Where is the access token? Uh, create access token, which is here create access token i will remove this so that i can only access the variable which is access token here now you can see uh this is the external uh, external uh, id external id you just generate an external id this is like an unique id or an account number in uh, in kenya that's what we use now i have tested with different currencies but i have it's i don't know why the sandbox is only uh you can only test it with a euro in euro you can when you use euro uh the currency code when you use euro it's the only one that we, you will work in sandbox but in production mode i know it will work with uh with countries which have an mtn uh, telecommunication around them so in sandbox it only works with euro so if you use euro it will work efficiently and it will give you a response so here i have decoded the json body which the json body is what it's like a request body that you are sending in order to get the response or the customer to get the payment to in order to complete his payment so here you can see this uh, i have uh, handled the call error for the here then here this is what i've done i've handled the errors then get the ht code you can remember here i need to get an ht uh, in order to get a uh, successful i need to get this request body then these are these uh if i get 202 uh status code http status code it means that i have it's successfully requested i have successfully requested pay to the client which i've added the number there so i need to get a status code of 202 then with this response now this is what we, we do uh i need to get the status record so the uh, request successful if i if the request pay request is successful i will get this message which is request successful with the reference id which is that then the status code which should be 202 that's why i will only echo this method method uh, this message if the http uh the http code the http uh the http status code will only be 202 so it means that they have accepted so now let's go into our website so that we can reload we can reload the we can reload the request pay now you can see here 
I have requested uh, you can see let's wait it to load because you need to create uh, an API access token so that you can see access token then it goes there so it's a long process that's why it's taking long now the request successful uh, with a reference ID and the status code is that now most people will be asking why I haven't getting this uh, uh, I have uh, you can see here I have the response which is here now uh, this is the response it means that I have I have created a request payout successful because I have an error to two and this means that it has been accepted and uh, now we have created the uh, request uh, request pay pay successful and the number which is here this number which is here uh, the user will receive something uh, an a prompt in his phone where he can enter his password so that we can get uh, we can get his data uh, he, so that he can complete the pay he or she can complete the payment so that's how you request for mtn payment uh, with momo api so see in the next